Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Welcome to the class. We are going to wait just a few minutes while the other people come into the class. But I want to ask you, have you finished already the platform? I finished. Yes. Nice. Very good job. I guess everybody here finished, though. That is very, very good. Uh, let's wait just uh, two or yeah, two minutes more. So the rest of the class come. Hello, Carl, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Very well. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the class. We are waiting for the rest of the people to come into the class. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello. Fine, thank you. And you? Very well. Ready for rock and roll. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm just typing somebody that was not able to come into the class. Okay, so we're going to start uh, the class. And um, we're going to do an exercise that we did the last time, last week, actually. Uh, but this time we are going to grade it. Do you know what is graded? If I say, I'm going to grade the homework, for example, what do you think I'm saying? You will give us a score. That is it. So uh, not me. But you, you are going to give a score, okay? So we are going to do a dictation again. So uh, do you have paper, pen or pencil so we can start the exercise? I'm going to give you a few, well, one minute probably. If you don't have that one, eh, maybe the other people are coming into the exercise. Uh, anyways, uh, remember that when whenever I'm dictating, I'm going to tell you pedia, comma, or dash, right? Or uh, do you remember what is column? Column, what is that? Two dots. That is it, dos puntos, column. And semicolon is... Punto y coma. Punto y coma. All right. Just in case you don't remember, let me see if I, I see any other. Well, dash. We don't have a lot today. A question mark. That is something that we're gonna use. Okay. So um, I don't think that I will need to. To spell any word. Okay. Gee, I don't think so. Uh, just another tip whenever you are doing a dictation is that everything is related, right? The words might be sound similar to other words. Some words are like that, right? But since you are going to be writing, so the word that you are going to write is the one that is similar to the topic that we are discussing. So that is another tip for this one, okay? Um, Al final yo le voy a decir cómo le vamos a poner nota, ¿ok? No importa si sale mal. This is not for real, ¿ok? It's just an exercise. Just to check how can we write and listen to, to something. And also remember that um, 
well, for example, in the advanced level, in the advanced level, if you are with me, I don't know if it's going to happen that way. But in the advanced level, it's not me the one who dictates. In the advanced level, I, I will say, for example, Arely, I'm going to send you this dictate to the class. So it's very important pronunciation, intonation, and um, the way that you say things are very important in this kind of factors because other, the other people is going to pay attention. I mean, when we are talking, um, you, if you don't understand two words, but you understand the idea, it's fine, right? But in meditation, every word, everything is important. So you need to try to catch everything or the most of it, okay? So that is the, the only, those are the only tips that I can tell you by now. And let's see how it goes, okay? This is a nice exercise. Lorena, hello, welcome, how are you? Very good, uh, teacher, thank you. Well, you are right on time. We are going to do a dictation. So do you have paper and pen or pencil? Yes, yes, I have. Good, you're ready, that's nice. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. there is no title on this one, so it's going to be just a paragraph, okay? Yeah. Uh, oh, he's coming also. Let's wait for her. Bonjour, Gisela. Comment allez-vous? How are you? Oh, comment tu t'appelles? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so next one is going to be French. That's nice. <laughs> um, I hope so. <laughs> nice, good. So Gisela and Luis, welcome. By now, we are going to do a dictation. So uh, if you have paper and pen, uh, pencil, that would be fantastic. I can wait for you, don't worry. Okay, so uh, as usual, I'm going to tell you three, four words and I'm going to repeat, okay? And uh, then after that one, we are going to, I'm going to read all the paragraphs, okay? And you can correct, you can eliminate correct things. I mean, sometimes logical things are important. And then I'm going to tell you how we are going to grade. It. So are you ready? Ready. I'm Good. ready. Let's make it. Here we go. Ready. James is. James is at the dentist's office. At the dentist's office. At the dentist's office today. Today, a uh, big house because he has a because he has a toothache because he has a toothache toothache on the right side on the right side of his mouth. On the right side of his mouth. Period. He bowed He bought some medicine. He bought some medicine at the drugstore. At the drug store. At the drugstore. 
coma. But the pain, but the pain didn't stop. But the pain didn't stop. Period. His last dental checkup. His last dental checkup. Check up. His last dental check up was six years ago. Was six years ago. Was six years ago, period. James is afraid. James is afraid. James is afraid of dentists. Of dentists. Period. An X dash ray an X dash ray an X dash ray technician technician took X dash race took X dash race took X dash race of his teeth of his teeth of his teeth Period. He has three cavities. He has three cavities. He has three cavities. Period. The dentist is the dentist is the dentist is drilling 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 two of the cavities two of the cavities two of the cavities comma but he will but he will but he will have to pull out, have to pull out, have to pull out the tooth, the tooth, The tooth that has 
that has the third cavity. The third cavity. The third cavity. Period. That cavity, that cavity, that cavity is so large, is so large, is so large that it can't that it can't that it can't be filled be filled be filled period that is also that is also that is also the tooth the tooth The tooth that is causing that is causing that is causing the pain the pain period. Every time, every time, every time the dentist starts, the dentist starts. The dentist starts the drill. The drill. The drill. Coma. James clinches. James clinches. James clinches with fear with fear with fear period the dentist told him the dentist told him the dentist told him to relax to relax comma but he can't But he can't. But he can't. Period. What can he do? Question mark. What can he do? Question mark. 
What can he do? Question mark, right? How can he relax? Question mark again. How can he relax? How can he relax? Question mark. Okay, I'm going to read the whole paragraph now so you can correct. Here we go. James is at the dentist's office today because he has a toothache on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but the pain didn't go. His last dental checkup was six years ago. James is afraid of dentists. An X-ray technician took X-rays of his teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull out the tooth that has the third cavity. That cavity is so large that it can't be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts to drill, the drill, James clinches with fear. The dentist told him to relax, but he can't. What can he do? How can he relax? Okay, that is it. So I'm going to show you the screen. And uh, what we're going to do is this, uh, please circle the ones that are not correct. Okay. I will give you some time, don't worry.
Okay, teacher, excuse me, what's the meaning of clinches? Okay, very good question. Clinches, well, it's clinch the verb. Uh, clinch is to close to close the mouth because he's afraid. So close something. Ah, okay. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Has everybody finished or not yet? I'm finished. I finished. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, grade it. Le vamos a poner nota ahora. Está fácil. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a, vamos a contar cuántos errores tuvieron. Y lo anotan ahí a un ladito. Okay. Cuando ya tengan el número de cuántos errores tuvieron, eh, a 144, que es el número de palabras que tenemos, le vamos a restar el número de errores. Por ejemplo, si tuvieron 10 errores, sería 144 menos 10 y su número va a ser 134. ¿Okay? Si hay preguntas en esto, me dicen. Ok, y ahora que ya tienen el número, le tienen el número a 144, a 144 le quita el número de errores y el número que le dé, cualquiera el número que sea, lo va a dividir entre 144. Y ese numerito que le va a salir ahí es su nota. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo tuviera 10 errores, Uh, lo vamos a hacer, vamos a ver. Son 134, ¿verdad? Uh, let me just check what is. Mm, I just can't find it. Entonces, yo divido 134 entre 144. Y el número que a mí me da es 0.93. Quiere decir que me saqué 93. Solo multiplico por 100, pero solo ocurrimos el punto. ¿verdad? Sería 93 mi nota. ¿Ok? Ahora, uh, como les decía al principio, as I was telling you before at the beginning of the exercise, it's not important if you have 100 or if you have a very low grade. We are not going to share the grade, but it's for you to analyze how you are doing, okay? If you had a lot of mistakes, 
Why? Why do you believe that you have a mistake in this kind of exercise, in your opinion? Why sometimes, uh, go ahead. Sorry, yes. Uh, something that happened to me is because I don't, I, I forget about the spell, the, the word spelling. So that's why I, sometimes I, I, I have a mistake. Very good. That is one of the main reasons. You remember the word, but you don't remember the way that you write the word, right? So that is one of the main reasons. What any other reason do you believe that you have for these uh, mistakes that we have here? Sometimes we try to remember how it's pronounced and trying to write it like that, but sometimes it's different the pronunciation than the writing. That is true. So phonetics and uh, writing is totally different sometimes. So we need to be aware, we need to know about both pronunciation and also the writing. Another reason that sometimes happens in this kind of situation is that there is new vocabulary, right? So words that you don't know, I mean, like clinches, for example. I believe that the most of you have that incorrect because I was probably saying, James, clinches with fear. And you were like, what? Clinches, what is that thing, right? So that is another reason that uh, might be happening. So um, it's very interesting because in this situation, we can understand what we need to do. So for example, if we don't remember the, the way that we write something, what we need to do is to write more, to look for the way uh, that some uh, words are spelled. Or if we get confused about the way uh, the pronunciation is and also the way that the words are being written, uh, then you need to analyze that one. Maybe listen to uh, a good exercise for that one, for example, is to watch videos that has subtitles, but the subtitles are in English. That is a very good exercise. So we can watch, I don't know, Netflix, for example, movies, uh, but in English with the subtitles in English. So in that way, you are going to say, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, the pronunciation is different because it's in England. Things like that are, are important. And with the vocabulary, I mean, the only thing that we can do is to read. If we read more, um, as I was telling you before, probably things that are not that difficult, it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be better for us. Okay? Um, okay. Any, a, any other word that you hear I don't understand or you want to comment? No questions, anything at all. Okay, uh, we're going to practice another exercise with this little paragraph. Since you are in intermediate, but you are getting into the advanced level, it's important also to be a little bit more fluent, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I know that sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult to speak or to read a little bit faster, but we can practice, okay? So what we're going to do is to read this little paragraph, but faster, okay? I know that normally we go and say, James is at the dentist office today because he has a toothache. And that is good. I mean, that is the way that you should read because other people are listening to you and you are trying to understand. But for example, when you read or when you are watching the, the news, you see that the people, they, they, they speak very fast, right? Very, very, very fast. Very fast. So. We want to go to that level, right? That's what we want to do. So what we need to do is to practice that, to speak faster, okay? To speak nice. I mean, that other people understand us, but also to speak a little 
faster. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the paragraph a little bit faster. It's not very fast because, um, I mean, it's not, it's not a competition, right? But a little bit faster so you are more fluent. Because when, when you are in a, in a conversation, I mean, here with me, because I'm the teacher, I sometimes speak, I sometimes speak slow, intonation, things like that. But when, when you speak with a person that is from other countries that they don't speak Spanish, well, then it gets complicated, right? Because they they speak normal. I mean, they are like, hey, yeah. What, 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 what? You say, what? What do you, does he say? Something like that. So that happens, I'm sorry. That happens because they speak very fast and with, uh, well, they know English very well. So they can speak very fast and they don't care about pronunciation because they, they know that one. But this is a very good exercise. We don't have a lot of time, but I guess we can do it. So let's do it. Going to be something like this. James is at the dentist's office today because he has a toothache on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but the pain didn't stop. His last dental checkup was six years ago. James is afraid of dentists. An x-ray technician took x-ray of his teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull out the tooth and he has a third cavity. That cavity is so large that is, it can be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts to drill, James clenches with fear. The dentist told him to relax, but he can't. What can he do? How can he relax? Easy. <laughs> I know it's not yeah. it's not easy. I know it's difficult. But we are here to learn, to practice. Right? That's why we are here. So don't worry. Don't worry. You are not going to do it like me. You are going to do it faster than you usually do. You. Not like me, but faster than you usually do. So the competition is with yourself to read a little bit faster, okay? And also that the other person understands, right? So it's important also to check the pronunciation, but this is an exercise for to be a little bit more fluent, okay? So don't worry okay. about anything. Just try to read, okay? The question is who wants to be the first one? Question. Who wants to be the first one? Um, or do I choose? Everybody's going to read, I mean. <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose. Uh, let me see. We are uh, to. Yeah, there are some of you. Okay. The first one that is going to read is going to be Margarita. Okay. <clears throat> James is at the dentist's office today because he has a toothache on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but he but the pain didn't stop. He last dental checkup was six years ago. James is afraid of dentists, an X-ray technician took x-rays of his teeth. He was three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but, the, but he, he will have to pull out the tooth that uh, has uh, the third cavity. That cavity is so large that it can be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain every time the dentist starts the drill. James clinches with fear. Uh, the dentist told him to relax, but he can't. What can, what can he do? How can he relax? Good, perfect. Um, next one is going to be Edwin. Okay. James is a dentist officer today because he has a toothache on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but the pain didn't stop. His last dental checkout was six years ago. James is afraid of dentists, 
an X-ray technician took X-rays of his thick, thick teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull out the tooth that, he, that has the third cavity. That cavity is so large that it can be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts the drill, James clinches with fear. The dentist told him to relax, but he can. What can he do? What can he relax? Okay, perfect, good. Next one is Gisela. Okay. James is at the dentist's office today because he has a tooth headache of the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but the pain didn't stop. His last dental checkup was six years ago. Jamie is afraid of dentists and x-rays, technical took x-rays of his teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavity, but he will to pull out the tooth that he has third cavity. That cavity is so large that I can be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts the drill, James clinches with fur. The dentist told him to relax, but he can. What can he do? How can he relax? Very good. That was very fast. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see uh, Johanna. Okay. James is at the dentist's office today because he has a toothache on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but the pain didn't stop. His last dental checkup was six years ago. James, James is afraid of dentists. An x-ray technician took x-rays of his tooth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull out the tooth that, he, that has the third cavity. That cavity is so large that it can be filled. Um, that is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts the drill, James clinches with fear. The dentist told him to relax, but he can't. What can he do? What can he relax? How can he relax? Very good. That was very fast as well. Nice, nice. Next one is Lorena. Okay. Uh, James is at the dentist's office today because he has a ticket on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but the pain didn't stop. His last dental checkup was six years, six years ago. James is afraid of dentists. An x-ray technician took x-rays of his teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is breathing two of the cavities, but he will have to pull out the tooth that has the third cavity. That cavity is so large that I can be filled. That is also the tooth uh, that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts the drill, James clinch with fear. The dentist told him to relax, but he can't. Uh, what can he do? How can he relax? Very good as well. Very fast and very nice, Lorena. Thank you. <laughs> Next one is going to be Adelie. Uh, James is at the dentist's office today because he has Tooted on the right side of his mom. He bought some medicine at the drug store, but the pain didn't stop. His last dental checkup was six years ago. James is afraid of dentists, and X ray tension took X rays of his teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull up the tooth that has the third cavity. That cavity is so large that it can be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts the drill, James chinkles with fear. 
The dentist told him to relax, but he can't. What can he do? How can he relax? Very good. Good pronunciation and faster. That is nice. Next one is going to be a uh, Carol. Okay. James eats at the dentist's office today be because he has a toothpick on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine at the drugstore, but the pain didn't stop his last dental checkup. Check up. What six, six years ago, James is a part of dental and it's right technical to it's right of the teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull off the tooth that he that's try, try, three um, cavity that cavity is so large to it can be, be fine that is also the tooth that is causing the pain every time the dentist start to drill James clinched with fear the dentist told him to relax but the can what uh, what can he do he can he relax okay very good nice uh next one is going to be elvis okay james is at the dentist's office today because he says he has toothache on the right side of his mouth he bought some medicine at the drugstore but the pain didn't stop his last dental checkup was six years ago james is afraid of dentists an x-ray technician took x-rays of his teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull out the tooth that has sheathed the cavity. That cavity is so large that it can be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts the drill, James clinches with fear. The dentist told him to relax, but he can't. What can he do? How can he relax? Very good, very fast and good pronunciation, nice. And the last one, I guess, is going to be Gerardo. Okay. James is at the dentist's office today because he has had to take on the right side of his mouth. He bought some medicine in the drugstore, but the pain didn't stop. His dental checkup was six years ago. James is afraid of the dentist. An x-ray technician took the x-ray of his teeth. He has three cavities. The dentist is drilling two of the cavities, but he will have to pull up the tooth that has the filled cavity. That cavity is so large that it can be filled. That is also the tooth that is causing the pain. Every time the dentist starts the drill, James clinched, clinched with fear. The dentist told him, told him to relax, but he can't. What can he do? How can he relax? Very good. Thank you. Very nice pronunciation. Very fast as well. Okay, uh, this is a good exercise, but also you have to take in account some other things. Uh, for example, I don't know if you noticed that one, but whenever you believe that you made a mistake on the reading, you stop, right? It's like, oh, this is not correct. So that happens uh, a lot when, whenever we're reading. Um, another thing is that, um, yeah, no, I mean, nobody here is in the same level. Everybody has different levels, but we have different skills as well. So sometimes we, um, we are able to pronounce it better or we're able to write better. So there are different skills that we need to work with. That Those are the ones that we were working here. Uh, probably the one that we were not working a lot, it was listening because uh, we don't see videos and things like that, but I want you to read better or to speak. That is probably the best one. But um, there are some exercises that you can do um, if you want to improve a little bit more. Classes in the platform are good. Uh, they are going to offer you grammar and exercises. 
Uh, and the classes here also are good because you are going to be able to practice. But also in your free time, since you are going to have move to other levels, more advanced level, probably you are going to need uh, other kind of activities. So you improve. Because if you, um, how can I say this? If you continue only with the classes, probably you are not going to advance much more. You need to start, for example, paying attention to music. That is a good exercise. Difficult. That is very, very difficult. Because when people are singing, they do not pronunciate the same way that when, whenever we're talking, right? So that is difficult. Uh, watching more videos in English. As I was telling you, you can watch movies with English subtitles. That is a very good exercise. Um, watching like normal normal vocabulary. I mean, when you watch a movie, people are acting and they need not only to, to speak, but also to express something by talking. But when you watch the news, maybe the news is, is too difficult because it's very fast sometimes and sometimes they are speaking about topics that are difficult to understand like financial topics, for example. But if you watch uh, TV shows in English, like interviews, that is like more normal, right? They ask questions, the other people answer questions, they laugh, and little by little, you are going to be able to understand better. Maybe you are not going, going to understand all of it because there are always new vocabulary and there are always things of pronunciation. I mean, some people, Around the world, they say tom tomato and some others say tomato. And that is English, right? Water, water in England. So that is normal. But you need to get a little bit more um, involved in activities like that so you can improve your vocabulary, you listen, and then you will be able to pronounce better. Another exercise that you can do uh, if you want to practice pronunciation is to dictate yourself. So you can open... Um, document for example in in google documents so if you have a gmail you can open a document and there on the top you are going to find a way for you to uh, start dictating the document uh, like this paragraph for example you can start with something like this very short you are going to dictate um, you can set that in english and then uh, i mean probably the software is not going to be perfect but you will be able to see if uh, you are able to pronunciate or if you are confusing one word with another one uh, or um, some uh, phrases, some uh, phonetics. So it's going to be good as well for you. Uh, but you are uh, in a very good level. I mean, uh, we are, we've been working together for almost a month right now and you have a very good level. We almost never speak in Spanish, so that is good. And whenever I ask you something, you are able to answer uh, sometimes with your own words, but it's very good. Your level is very good, but you can improve a little bit more. So uh, another thing that you can do is to try to think what, what is the skill that you need to improve. So as I was telling you before, sometimes we are good at writing, for example. So if you are good at writing, what you need to do is to focus on the one that you are not that good speaking, uh, listening, uh, and do exercise like those. At the end of this module, also I will be sending you some other exercises so you can practice as well. Because most likely, I don't know yet, but most likely it's going to be a week without English classes. So I always try to send some uh, links for you to practice uh, during that week, uh, if you have the time. And of course, even when we finish the classes, you can, uh, type me a message and ask me what can I do or uh, can you present me exercises or things like that and of course it would be a pleasure okay um by now do you have any question not teacher, not teacher. Yeah, this was a class like uh, for us to check uh, what can we do to improve we did two exercises focus on that one but the dictation, uh, I don't know what was your grade, but I hope it was better. It was good, I mean, 
uh, and also the uh, reading that it was kind of fast. Uh, tomorrow we're going to continue with the regular class. Let me ask you as well, uh, everybody has finished the platform already? Yes. Yes. Nobody's finished, uh, missing, right? Everybody is nice. So you're just waiting for the next model. Good, I'm proud of you. You're very nice, very good students. And well, we still have two more classes to continue practicing. And remember that if you have any questions, anything that I can do for you, I will be there for you, okay? Okay, thanks. Thanks. Okay, my friends, if there are no other questions and uh, or, or comments, I hope you have a very wonderful night. And of course, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.